Hi, I'm John Davidson. You might have seen me on television or on Broadway or in Las Vegas. On television, I hosted the Hollywood Squares, and I hosted That's Incredible, and I hosted the, the Tonight Show a lot, we're replacing Johnny Carson, and beauty pageants and a bunch of other crazy shows over 50 years. Um, today, I'd like to say that I'm openly secular. I've said this a number of times, but never on camera. I uh, started in the business, I came from a Baptist minister's son background. My dad was a Baptist preacher. My mom was an ordained Baptist minister. And uh, my three brothers and I, four guys, grew up as preacher's kids. We were supposed to be this perfect thing. We were supposed to be the epitome of what a young Christian boy should be. So when I entered show business, it said in my bio, he's a preacher's kid. And I never denied it, of course, because that's what I was. But people assumed, because I looked so waspy, white, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, that I must be religious. And so I never bucked the system. I never denied it. But I wrestled with religion all through my life. I wrestled with it. When I got to college, I had to declare a major. And I thought, well, gee, I love my dad a lot. He's so content. He's so happy as an American Baptist preacher. I'll be a philosophy major and maybe go to seminary, maybe be a minister, be closer to my dad. The first two courses I took were logic and comparative religion. Uh, within six months, I questioned any sort of religion that I had. I uh, began to see that, obviously, religion is man-made, that it's made out of fear of the afterlife or trying to figure out the chaos, trying to, trying to find some uh, uh, security in this chaos of our lives, which is part of life. And then I began to read more about religion and philosophy of life. Books by Richard Dawkins, Christopher Hitchens, um, Sam Harris, and a great book by Karen Armstrong called The History of God. All the different um, revelations that people, all the different uh, uh, discoveries that people have made about what is God. It's phenomenal. And that's what led me to this secular life. Then when I got into show business, I began doing uh, Christmas specials. I did three specials. And, and I figured we better give a nod to the real meaning of Christmas. And so we did a segment about uh, the birth of Jesus and, uh, and the wise men. And my dad usually appeared on the show. And uh, that was what you do when you do a Christmas special. Then I went to Branson, Missouri and had a theater there. Everyone in Branson closes their show with either a gospel song or God Bless America. And when I didn't do that, people would come up and say, why don't you do that? And I made up some excuse about, well, uh, gospel music should be done by four people, the gospel singers, and I'm just one, and I like gospel music, but I don't. And I never did say that, wait a minute, I'm an atheist. I asked my mother, what should I do? And she said, just don't say anything. Just don't say anything because you'll upset people. You'll rock the boat. What a shame. What a sham. I've begun to realize that it pays to be religious in America. You can be more successful. A lot of other entertainers and singers are Christian singers and Christian actors, and it works very well. You can make money that way. As a matter of fact, you can't run for office in this country without being religious. So, after 50 years in show business, I'd like to repeat what I've said many times, but I've never done it on camera. I'm openly secular. I have a code of ethics, and I don't need a supreme um, imaginary friend, a supreme being, in order to be moral. I have faith, I have hope, I have love. The Bible says those three are very important, and I agree. I have faith in myself and my fellow man, and when I lose that, I get very depressed. I have hope for the future. I have love for people I love and for mankind. But I don't need an imaginary friend to do that. So when I first started in the business, I looked like a Christian. Well, I'm saying I'm an atheist. This is what an atheist looks like. 
I'm John Davidson, and I approve of this message. <laughs>